Hello everybody, my name is Timmy Nurselts, and today I am going to show you my Minecraft calculator that I have built. The first thing I like about my calculator, unlike most calculators out there, is one, it's super compact, and two, it has an on and off switch. So until the value, until the whole thing is turned on, you can't input any value. And you can't input any number. Like you can input it, it'll pop up on the screen for a second, and it'll disappear. Pop and disappear. So let's turn this sucker on and let's get to work. First n number you'll see on the display is zero, letting you know that this baby is ready to purr. I'm gonna take you through adding, subtraction, and multiplying. Dividing does not work right now, but I will have it working soon. So let's do simple addition first. Now, addition, it does not matter which registry you save to first. You just gotta hit save registry one. So let's do six. This will pop on letting us know that six has been successfully saved to the registry. Then let's do, ooh, let's do nine. So let's not look first. Six and nine people. That's nineteen, eleven, twelve, fifteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, right? Sixteen. Bam. No, don't turn to fifteen. I do six, right? Eighteen. Seventeen. Sixteen. Fifteen. Ooh. Can't do multiple addition in my freaking head. Wow. So nine, six, fifteen. 9 and 9. So if we go back to the registry 1, since 9 is already selected, you'll go ahead and put 9 into registry 1 already. It won't clear that torch. So 9 and 9 is. Deer. Say the 2. Deer. Come on. Come on. Deer. Show me 18. Come on. There you go. Yay. 18. Don't change. Good. So, now when you switch between addition, subtraction, multiply, or dividing when I get it ready, you get two options. Keep the value that is in the registry, or don't keep the value that's in the registry. I don't want to keep the value that's in the registry. So when I switch this to minus, that will clear, those will clear, and that will clear. That will clear too, obviously, because there's nothing being done. It should show zero again, or it should just show blank. I'm gonna vote blank. So, <coughs> sorry. Now with subtraction, the biggest number goes in save one. So, let's do let's do something fun. Eight. It's a big number. Eight minus two. Do, 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 Four. Nah, that'll show up four. Five. Yeah, that way it'll show up six. No, five. Right? Yeah, it'll show up six. Eight. Nine. Six, seven, eight. It should show up three. What am I smoking? Why is it showing up five? Four. Saved it. Oh, I saved it to one. That's why. Herbert Derp. Eight. And save to two. I want to put in five. Wow, it's early in the morning, people. Don't do math early in the morning. It hurts your head. Three. There you go. So you saw that other stuff going on. That's just the calculator doing its computations. And it throws up random values while it's doing that. Let's do, so again, multiplication, keep, don't keep, don't want to keep, toss those values, clear those saves, clear to, clear it, clear it, clear it. I always have issues with that, but it does work eventually. So, with multiplication now, you put the biggest number in 2. I don't know why this works out, it's just the way I apparently designed this thing. So let's put 
two, four. Times three. Do 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 do. do. <clears throat> no. Four and three, I can do in my head. That's twelve. It's just gonna show a bunch of values while it actually works. Twelve. Ta da! Twelve. So now I bet you want to see what this thing looks like. So let's go ahead and turn this off. So everything clears, so that we don't have any values while we're out there. Come on, clear. And off. Okay. Just poke a hole. Poke. Yeah. So, but um, this is the whole thing. All right. Surprisingly compact. Bet you it looks less complicated than most calculators you've seen. So these are one wide RS NOR latches. If you don't know how to make those, I will show you at the end of this video, along with adders, in case you don't know how to make those either. But it's all in the Minecraft wiki. Anyway, so but I'll be nice. These is a decimal to binary. And then this is a selection unit that lets me determine multiplication, division, subtraction, addition. These are registry shifters that let me switch between two registries. Um, these again are one wide RS nor latches that I use as registries. Um, over here you have oh wait first you have XOR that let me determine between addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division. Then this is a binary multiplier. And all that is is repeated addition. So these are a bunch of adders, daisy chained together. And they're going out to the outputs. These are simple adders for adding binary numbers. Of course. And then when you hit subtract, it just negates one of the values. So you're actually adding a negative number. This is a decimal to wow binary to decimal um conversion unit. This is decimal to eight segment display. <coughs> Excuse me again. So yeah, it's basically simple. And that's the whole thing in a nutshell. So now I'll show you how to make. Oh, this is the auto registry shift. It does work, but it's a little iffy. It's got a timer on it so that it switches the registry. If you're not fast enough, it'll switch the registry before you can put the next value in. So you've got to tie it right. Um, this line is just your keep value, toss value line. It's also the value that the the line that allows me to turn the whole calculator on and off, which constantly power it, it prevents stuff being put in or out of it. Okay, so let's go over here. Where I've already set up how to this <clears throat> is your basic adder. So Two blocks, right block is the torch, three repeaters, piston, block on the piston, um, redstone, repeater, redstone, repeater, block, block, torch on the block, repeater, repeater, redstone, out to the next adder. Um, if, you're t if you don't want your pistons messing up, this one should be set to four, as so should that one. Otherwise, if you um, input values really fast, the piston will glitch out. It'll do one of those numbers like that, where the block will stay even though the piston retracts. And it messes it up because then it'll say it's on. Like, see, it says it's on even though there's no values in it. So if you put those to 4, 
and four, and it doesn't mess up at all. Um, so this is carry in. This piston is carry in, and then this line is carry out to the same piston that you would have on the next adder. So now let's do the fun part of the one wire artist nor latch. I'm just gonna build it up in the air because it's simpler. So bam, 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 bam. bam. I think that's one too many. It is one too many. I can't count apparently. So same thing I have over there. Button to select. So like you'd build two of these like this. There would be your next button. There's your torch. You get a line underneath the buttons. Underneath that line, you put repeaters. Bam, bam. By those repeaters, you put torches. Block on top of those. Block over here. Two more repeaters, both set to one. Two more torches. Block, 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 block. Now you would go redstone wire, repeater. And if you had more, you'd go wire, repeater, wire, repeater. Then you basically, here, you would do where you have a wire up here, you do a repeater down here. So, repeater, wire. Then where you have the wire, torch, where you have the repeater, block, then torch. Okay, then you go block, wire, so then you put wire, then you go repeater, wire. Excuse me for a second, my hand is falling asleep. <sighs> Stretch, okay. And then you go block, 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 block. I think I just did something terribly wrong. Why oh, is it messed up on here? Ha, ah, that's what I did. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm having a harp and harp moment. Just like that. So, repeater. Repeater. Line, so nothing crosses. So this is how you do it. You just basically alternate those. So then, that sets that to on. That sets that to on. So that's all there is to it. And you just basically keep going as many as you need. So I hope you enjoyed this video. <coughs> I'm sorry if it was kind of rushed, but it's early in the morning here. So if uh, you have an idea for anything you want me to do, build, crazy invention you want me to come up with, um, post it. And I will try my best. Also, if you want in more depth of this world, I will be including a download of it. And if you want another video that more describes how it works, or for me to do a series building it, let me know too, and I will do that. Um, about a month or two from now, I should post another video of pretty much the same as this that shows the divider working. But I hope you have a great day, so signing off.